What is this, a like Ken a Burns documentary? There's a restaurant up the block, Il Cortile, and that's where uh, we, if you were getting killed off the show, we take you to dinner then. You take, oh my goodness. Now, we're for taking real. you out for lunch. That doesn't mean anything. Am I about so to get whacked? You know, sweat it. Am I about to lunch? We <laughs> never do it for lunch. Well, we're in Little Italy. We got to eat Italian food. Let's right? go. We're not going for get. Chinese, <laughs> Eli. I remember when I got to New York in 2004, it was a staple, you know. I mean, living in New Jersey, it's like, you have to watch this show. And Michael, you were a writer for it a little bit. Uh, I wrote five episodes. Did, did you write your own uh, death? No. I wrote a spec script, like an audition script, oh, okay. and gave it to David Chase, and he liked it. Yeah, he wrote my favorite line on the show. Tell, tell what's what going on. Oh, this is from an Italian's point of view. Hell, hell is an Irish bar where it's St. Patrick's Day yeah. every day. <laughs> so for an Italian, they would get that joke. If you're Irish, that might be heaven. Do you remember your audition? Y'all talk about that in the podcast, in the book? Uh, yeah, we do. My audition yeah, was book, nothing yeah, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> nothing I thought I blew my audition. Oh, really? David Chase did not look very yeah. uh, excited. What about you, Steve? I was dabbling in acting, and uh, I read for the role of an FBI agent. She said, uh, read this. I don't see you as an FBI agent. I, I read the role of Bacala, and I came back a week later, and I got it. My audition scene was uh, in the pilot episode, Christopher Murders, this young guy who's in this uh, rival family, you know, kind of pretending to shoot somebody. Did you try out for teams, or were you always superstar? And you had yeah. pressure because of your father and your brother. You know, I was trying to live under my father's shadow, and then, and then Peyton's just five years older than me, and all of a sudden he's number one player in the country in high school, number one pick in college, and it's like, hey, you know, we're expecting you to do the exact same thing. That's so, gotta be tough. I yeah. Mean, you know, you gotta... I think after a while, it's gotta realize, I'm not Peyton, I'm not my dad. I'm just, I can do my best, I'm gonna work hard, I'm gonna be there each and every week for my team. Did something right. Guys, let's talk a little bit about your book, uh, Woke Up This Morning. Are there any stories in here that have never been told before? Oh yeah, there's oh, a yeah. lot of stories. You know, there's an interesting, uh, section on how this show came to be. Sure. Who auditioned for what roles. You'll hear about some actors that nobody knew were up for the roles, that got offered the roles. You know, this is the history of the show from the people who made it. And if you're a fan of the show, it's, you're certainly gonna love it. Lorraine Bracco tells a funny story how when they used to shoot the show, they would shoot Jim first. And then when it came to shoot her, uh, Jim would moon her to make, make a laugh. <laughs> no. Ricky, this is the Nicky, best so vodka good, sauce man. I've ever. Come over here. Thank you. Here he comes. This is no. this is Nick, the owner of Danico. This is the best vodka sauce I've ever had in my life. Thank you very now, much. Now, why is the what's the key? What's uh, secret secret ingredient? Secret recipe. Best I've ever had. How's that, Eli? You liking that? We got to teach you how to eat with a spoon, man. See the way you're eating? No good. Here. We got we got to. Put some on the fork, yeah. and you're gonna. All right. All right. With your left hand. Yeah. All right. You're you're a righty. So you're gonna pick up a little, yeah. and you're gonna twirl it into the spoon. You are. See like Look that. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Ah. Oh. You. Yeah. There you go. Man. You know I'm coachable. Yes. I'm coachable. Guys, how did James Goldafini inspire the crew, and and what was he like on on set? Jim was more like a team captain. I always say that about him. He was the captain of the team because he was looking out for everyone. Both the crew and the cast, make sure people were appreciated, they were treated properly. He was a very generous guy. Wow. He also was generous with us. He had a big contract dispute one year. He gave 16 of us a check for $33,333. He said, thanks for sticking by me. Gave us all an envelope. Half a million. Half a million right there. Did you do that for your offensive line? No comment. <laughs> after each season, I've always bought my oh, lime. Oh, after each season. Each season, I always bought my lime. Um, you have to. Gifts. You know, and the better season we had, the better gift they got. In my grandmother's house, you have the salad at the end, after the main course. Why is that? Clean kind of like, you know, clean the palate. I'm not a big salad guy. I may, uh, no. my body will go into shock. <laughs> like. okay. oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the, here's the best part right here. This might be the best meal I've ever had in my life. It's pretty Not good. Not just the it? company, but the food. Pretty amazing. I'm watching my weight. All right, guys, we had a great meal. We got a dessert. We're finishing up here. Let's talk again, just kind of the, the ending and the final episode of The Sopranos. Uh, what do you think happened to Tony? 
I think he's alive and well. Done. Who got who got him? New York family got him because they wanted to. I think the New York family wanted to take over the Jersey. The Soprano yeah. family and folded into their crew. And I think they killed him in front of his family. Right after, right as that cut to black happened, that was the last thing Tony saw. That was it. Yeah, so, but it's a great part. You can you can make up your own ending. You can believe what you want to believe, right? right. Guys, thank you so much for, uh, for coming thank on you, the show. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. Learned thank a lot very much. and uh, learned how to eat pasta finally. Thanks so. for having us. Seriously, I've only, only been up here fans. 18 years. Thank Cheers you, uh, to our host, the Nico Restaurant. Yes, the Nico. Thank you, the Unbelievable. This hey, Steve. You know I love the show, right? But anyone who's ever whacked anyone, that's not how you do it. Hey, Giants fans. Eli Manning here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe now to our YouTube channel.